Else, a very emotional guy, owns a tavern in South Africa. His first trip to World's Strongest Man. Now this isn't a conventional deadlift. As a reminder, because the car is attached, you can utilize your leg strength a little bit more and kind of rock it up to get those additional reps. He's at two right now. You wonder what kind of a disadvantage it is going by yourself. It's a huge disadvantage, Brent. That's a great point because you don't have anybody to push you or drive you. And else will settle for two. Show your appreciation with two repetitions from South Africa. Yeah. Has a background in another tough man sport, rugby, and gives it all he has to power through this immense weight. Notice Brian okay. Shaw has a Ready. much wider base than some of the other competitors and also wearing Go. shoes on his Go. feet. But making Go. that first Go. rep look pretty easy. Go. So he goes shoes, Go. Goff goes with just socks. Go. Old Charlie Goff knows Go. his way Go. around a deadlift. In fact, he's the Go. 2016 Go deadlift champion at the European Championships earlier this year with a lift of over 400 kilograms, which is 882 pounds. But it's Brian Shaw who's putting on the show. Brian Shaw up with his 10th. Goff appears to be done. Well, maybe not. He may go for another here, Aaron. His nickname is Wham Chaz. Apparently, Wham means big in Brittany's. He did get a seventh. See how hard Goff is breathing there. These athletes put their bodies through so much. Does he have any left in the tank? Here he goes. Gotta love the effort. I think he was spurred on by going opposite a guy of Shaw's caliber. Brian Shaw. And so Shaw, your leader in the deadlift. Shaw being a thoughtful competitor. Look at his chest up. The extension, watch everything lock out simultaneously. He is perfectly synchronized when you're lifting 800 pounds over and over. Elias Kowski, the youngest man in the competition, just 23, decided to be a strong man at age 17. Love the way Von Staden is attacking this weight. Von Staden up with his fifth. Kiliakovsky straining. You can see how red his face is. His muscles are deprived of the ever precious oxygen. Five now for Kiliakovsky. And Brent, here's where you have an advantage going next to somebody. These guys are pushing each other. Kiliakovsky trying to get his sixth, refusing to quit, rocking it up his legs, but falls just short does not get credit for that sixth rep. Look at the eyes of Von Staden, just completely gassed. Kiliaskowski gave everything he had as well. I feel like we're losing our breath just watching some of the events. The amount of effort, tenacity, and strength that takes to do what both these men are doing. But they came here to compete and they're giving it their all.